power units at Chernobyl NPP, as well as many other power units at nuclear power plants of the USSR, were equipped with RBMK-type reactors. RBMK stands for Large Channel Type Power Reactor. This is a series of nuclear power reactors developed in the USSR. The RBMK reactor is a channel type, heterogeneous, graphite water, boiling type, thermal neutron reactor. The coolant is boiling water. At the moment, the series of these reactors includes three generations. The head reactor of the series is Units 1 and 2 of the Leningrad NPP. The Chernobyl disaster was a real blow to the Soviet Union, says Jonathan Coopersmith, a technology historian at Texas A&M University who was in Moscow in 1986. The real scale of what happened, due to the slowness of the authorities and also the negligence on the ground, was not immediately known by the public. The Soviet media did not immediately report on the disaster. The first information about the consequences of the explosion appeared in the Swedish media after the radioactive cloud appeared over the country. In the absence of reliable information and intelligible comments from the authorities, foreign publications began spreading unverified information based on rumors. Soviet newspapers responded by accusing certain circles abroad of trying to inflame the situation. Mikhail Gorbachev did not address Soviet citizens until May 14, nearly three weeks after the disaster. It made glasnost real, says Cooper Smith, meaning that this event laid the foundation for the nascent policy of transparency in the Soviet Union. It also ushered in a new era of international cooperation on nuclear safety issues. In August 1986, the International Atomic Energy Agency held a conference in Vienna, where Soviet scientists showed a level of openness unprecedented for the time by reporting details of the incident, says de Geer, who was also present at that conference. It's still amazing that they told us so much, says the Swedish scientist. Since the horrific accident, changes have been made to the design of the operating RBMK-1000s, more enriched fuel has been used, the number of control rods has been increased, and additional inhibitors have been introduced to avoid losing control of the reactor at low power levels. The three remaining reactors at Chernobyl were in operation until 2000. On December 15, 2000, the reactor of the last, Unit 3, was permanently shut down. Lithuania also had two RBMKs, which were subsequently shut down on demand after the country became a member of the European Union. To date, there are four operating RBMKs in Korsk, three in Smolensk, and three more in St. Petersburg, the fourth was shut down in December 2018. These reactors are not as good as the European reactors, although they have become less dangerous, did Gear notes. There are fundamental properties of the RBMK-1000 design that cannot be corrected in any way. It is unlikely that the overall safety of the RBMK can be improved to the level one would expect from a similar Western-style reactor, adds Edwin Lyman. In addition, de Geer points out that these reactors do not have the full containment protective systems that Western-style reactors have. These systems are shields of lead and steel and are designed to keep radioactive gas or steam from escaping into the atmosphere in the event of an accident. Stricter controls are needed. Engineers face the challenges of nuclear power plants and must overcome them. Despite the potential consequences of a nuclear power plant accident for the entire global community, there are still no international agreements that clearly spell out what exactly qualifies as a safe nuclear power plant, Lyman says. He notes that the Nuclear Safety Convention requires countries to be fully transparent about the safety measures adopted for the operation of nuclear power plants and allows for peer review of these systems, but there are no legally enforceable mechanisms or sanctions to comply with these requirements. Some countries have their own independent regulators, but their independence is limited by the extent to which local governments provide it, Lyman says. How can we expect an independent regulator to function competently in countries with extensive corruption and a lack of good governance, asks Lyman. Although no one else besides the Soviet Union has built RBMK-1000 type reactors, some countries have proposed new reactor designs that also have a void coefficient of reactivity. For example, this principle is used in fast breeder reactors, FRBN, which produce more fissile material as power increases. Such reactors have been built, for example, in China, Russia, India, and Japan. In the latter case, though, the reactor is out of service and is scheduled to be decommissioned altogether. 
India is 10 years behind schedule in commissioning its reactor. Canada also has reactors that use a small positive void coefficient effect. Designers argue that if you take everything into account, such reactors are generally safe, so it doesn't make much difference. But these designers overestimate their systems, Lyman says. This kind of thinking eventually got the USSR into trouble. And we, too, can be in trouble if we are negligent about what we don't know or don't understand. Much more is said about emergency protection, but it does not say directly the main, self-evident thing. It does not say that all this is achieved by introducing large negative reactivity, and under no circumstances the emergency protection, when it is triggered, should not introduce positive reactivity. And then there is nothing surprising that the designer of RBMK-1000 reactor, having created such a fantastic, contrary to common sense protection, now makes innocent eyes and sees nothing special in the fact that instead of damping the reactor the protection accelerates, calling this protection property by a scientific term he invented, the positive scram effect. And he can ignore the modest note to paragraph 3.1.6 of the rules that in the technical design of the NPP in its special section all available deviations from the requirements of the rules shall be indicated. The deviation shall be justified and agreed upon with Gosadam Nadzer of the USSR. Of course, none of this was done, and all the operational documentation at the NPP was prepared without taking into account, to put it mildly, the peculiarities of emergency protection. Five years after the accident, the supervisory body Gazprotan Nadzer, which had already changed its name and status twice by that time, gave a detailed analysis of violations of nuclear safety requirements in the RBMK-1000 project. Of course, better late than never, but if it had done this analysis in time and had demanded proper safety justifications for the design decisions that were made, there would have been no Chernobyl accident. There is no doubt that violation of the regulations, which significantly affected the occurrence and course of the accident, was operation of the reactor with a low operating margin of reactivity, RF. At the same time it is not proven that without this violation the accident would not have occurred. Regardless of what violations of regulations the operating staff committed and how they affected the initiation and development of the accident, the staff kept the reactor operating in dangerous conditions. Low-level operation with increased coolant flow rate and low ONM was a mistake regardless of how these modes were represented in the operating rules and regardless of whether or not there were errors in the reactor design. A few words about the most serious accidents at NPPs with RBMK reactors. 1975 accident with rupture of one channel at the first unit of LNPP and release of radioactivity. 1982 rupture of one channel at CHNPP Unit 1. 1986 – An accident with a mass rupture of channels at the fourth unit of CHNPP and destruction of the core, resulting in radioactive contamination of a large area. 1991 – Fire in the engine room of Unit 2 of the CHNPP, the accident was primarily associated with an emergency situation at the turbine generator. 1992 – Rupture of one channel at the third unit of LNPP. This is what the RBMK reactor is like. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.